Hey guys, welcome to Comic Station, where we try to go over the new issues in the comics each week. This is Comic Station issue number 91 for September 24, 2014. And we are going to be doing this fairly shortly just because of time and some other commitments. First off, we have Butterfly, number one, for our Archaea Publishing. This is a one of four, and this is a spy mystery novel kind of uh, book this week. Uh, it starts off with ex-CI agent Becky, or Rebecca, or Butterfly, as she's known, uh, in Oslo, Norway, working for something called The Project. She is on a job. She's and unfortunately it's either a botched job or a setup and in her search for help or escape uh, it takes her through Europe and eventually France and she's not quite sure whether she's been betrayed set up what's going on but all she knows is help isn't coming at the same time there's a parallel story on the second half of the book uh, following her father who was also a CIA agent who was burned and joined a different contracting agency through a series of backwards t uh, steps through time, he, uh, his story is told, and he ends up being in France too, where in the middle of the book, that's where they end up meeting. So the two agents, are they betrayed? Are they after each other? Are they fighting for or with each other? And what about their agencies? Uh, this could be a very uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith uh, comic, where the agencies decided to take out the other competition. Next we have here is Future Proof number one from Bliss on Tap Publishing. Future Proof is a futuristic look at time travel where it actually opens up where uh, it's a drunken time traveler explaining how time travel can only go backwards because the future hasn't happened yet uh, in a strip club in Texas the night before John F. Kennedy's assassination. and. Through the course of it, you basically learn that the future is an, uh, there's an artificial intelligence singularity called the Sing that makes all the important decisions for humans, but still requires them because they can pull the plug at any time, but it gives the important orders and takes care of them. One of those things was time travel, and in the course of this, you're going to find out that maybe some of the conspiracy theories are actually just time travelers having gone back and kept time, quote unquote, on schedule. The, there's an interesting time loop issue discussed here, plus questions on how there are people helping them or not from the future. Uh, people in that time are helping them, but they don't know why or who's setting that up. And there's even equipment at the places of their next time jump, which is further in the past. So how do they know that they're going to be there on time? So there's a lot of questions and a lot of issues, of course, with time travel and in the agency itself. Finally, we have Roche Limit number one from Image Comics. The Roche Limit is a colony built on the event horizon of a not quite black hole, as the it does not have the crushing uh, physics uh, gravity of a black hole, uh, and light does escape, but everything is a singularity in the middle, and there's some kind of strange energy that people aren't quite aware of, and there's also this mineral that is used to make a drug called Recall. It was founded uh, as an escape from the social political grunge, but of course falls victim to it itself, where there's a lot of uh, gangs, drugs, and uh, different groups trying to buy for control. There's also the issue of a girl is looking for her sister. There's some missing call girls that have uh, that are being searched for, and there's a drug making person that is a uh, has fallen out of favor with the boss and he has his own issues and maybe some mysterious link to the missing sister. So this one has a lot of sci-fi mystery missing persons and quite a lot of things going on in this one. And it, Overall the artwork was really cool and I think this one is going to be interesting and we'll see how the story foretold. Uh, this is a number one but it's uh, not set on a limit so we'll see how well it keeps to the track. As always, you can find our full reviews on FrontwardGamer.com, as well as TV, movies, and, of course, more comic books. Uh, as always, stay tuned. Every Wednesday, we will be coming up with more comics 
and at FunToursGamer.com and let us know if we missed anything, what you're looking forward to, do any of these sound interesting to you. Let us know we're here at Comic Station. Thank you and we will see you next week.